Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Gwent, the Witcher card game. So, earlier this week, CD Projekt Red added the Arena mode, a new game mode where you can actually uh, make decks from any cards you want. Well, this, I think the same restrictions still go for the amount of gold and silver cards you can have in a deck. But I think anything else goes. Um, I haven't played it yet, so I don't know anything more about it than that. I know there's a few matches you need to do, and depending on how much wins you get, you uh, get certain rewards. I also know you need a bit of ore to get in, which is why I have 90 ore available right now. I'm hoping that's enough. If that's not enough, I'll do a few matches first to fill that up. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go in. Okay, fancy introduction. Welcome to Arena Mode, Rules of the Pact. Battle against the poor souls who have signed the pact with Gontru Dim. The more opponents you defeat, the greater the, the awards that await you. The game is over once you have either lost three times or won nine times. Okay, and I need one broken piece of a mirror, which is fitting of course, because Gontru Dim is called Master Mirror. So, yeah. I want to pay the entry fee. I thought this was gonna be ore that I needed. Oh. In this mode you will build a deck from all available cards. There are no faction restrictions. For this reason it's often best to choose cards that have high value on their own and are not dependent on other cards. So let's go with the caretaker. I think that might actually go... Yeah, it resurrects silver so... Yeah, let's go with the Caretaker. This is gonna be more interesting, so we can't really force any type of... Yeah, I think... Let's go for the Redanian Knight Elect. Another silver card, so that's our last silver, probably, I'm assuming. Ornamental Sword it is. Oh, wait. That's a lot of silver cards. M more silver cards. What? Um. Odrin? Oh wow, there's no restrictions on silver and gold cards and the like. And then the leader. Then Calvade, Francesca Findabair, or Movran Voris. Jan Calvade. That completed. This is gonna hurt. Yup, here we go. I only have three cards, three gold cards, by the way. A bunch of silver cards, but 16 silver cards. This is ridiculous. Ah, oh, this should be interesting. I love the the new loading there screen is there. No punishment for traitors. I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. Oh wow, the board even looks differently. Let's start with a bear. There is but one punishment for... It's a strong leader for... yeah. And then put Stannis back. That's actually really interesting. Create a bronze or silver... yeah, create a silver Skellige card. Here we go. Oh, the left one, please! God damn it. Let's just pass. He has a lot of focused cards there. Should have probably done that as well. This is weird, just playing with random cards in your... Not completely random, but kind of random. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard. Let's put Odrin on there. Time. Up. Yes, sir. Why have you summoned Oh, for fuck's sake. Boo! Boo, indeed. Sarah on the field, so that's I'm on it. a peculiar start. When the white frost comes, at the lens, so that's the double Alzheimer's stun. stun. Oh, double golden froth. And that is interesting, because I, of course, have spores in my hand. Let's put more end over there. Looking to dance, mate. Huh, I thought that triggered before. Yeah, whatever. Deal two damage to all units on a row and clear a boon from it. There we go. 
add a card to the game and play it. I don't get multiple choices, I think, at that point. Die, die, die. Oh, that is... Yeah, let's just go for that then. Definitely gonna lose my first match. You will see it in your dream. Um There is no escape. That was just sad. And Goliath. So twenty-five. Well, he boosts himself once every turn, so there's two more boosts in there. Is no one more boost, one more boost. Sometimes I've had about enough. So that's seven. He might not actually win this. Seventeen points, so sixteen points. Oh, snap! I won the first match. Holy shit! That was. Close. He must have had crap in his hands then. Not little crap, but yeah. Oh, so the gold is in the number of wins and the hearts are how many times I've lost. Okay. Fair enough. Searching for the worthy rival. The gate must be secure. I shall not repeat. Level 67. That sounds painful. Coexistence, my ass! No nine damage? No. Okay. Crap, that guy. Do I have? Yes, I do. Okay, glad. I can actually kill him with Mandrake, because that even destroys him completely. Goodbye. Now we can't even resurrect Imlarith, because he's a bitch. Then Ida and Main with Alzu's Thunder. Luckily, I waited. The him. No and I'm gonna place mine as well. No Just in case he decides to pass. I'm ahead actually now, cards wise, not like that. So, yeah, there we go. Almost kind of forgot that there was an ambush unit lying on the field, so that was why I was ahead, probably. But that was three golden cards they were wasting. Probably a pass. Um, and then just a bear. There we go. 1-1. One, one. After two turns, flip over and charm the highest bronze or silver enemy with five power or less on turn start. So it doesn't need to be on any row. Move an enemy to the opposite row. Yeah, okay, no. Doesn't seem to be limited to that. Is that a Nilfgaardian unit? Him, no, it's not. Um, We're losing, so I can spawn an Imperial Manticore if I want to, but... Let's just play I out. Might as well do the swapping. Lads, time to discuss this is later. Yeah. Straight go. And yeah, of course, should have known that. That was that was stupid. Because I've actually done a worse job now. So that swaps out him. Let's see. Let's just see what Avalach does. Fighting Frost, Clear Skies or Shrike. Fighting Frost on the... Yeah, the back. The back row. Gonna slowly diminish his armor there. Ah, hit it when they run. That was a mistake, cause uh... Hello, Jenge. Meet Askel. Sure, no problem. Deal 8 damage. Deal 8 damage. I'm just gonna whack his back row. Draining it to half. I think I might do better with the archer here. And then just put it over the here. Of and then that one. Not 
Yes! Yes! And a forfeit! I'm gonna definitely use that in another video I wanna, I wanna talk about, but uh, there we go, second game won! Yes! That was actually cool! So, two wins! That was great! Uh, third one, here we go! Let's just keep keep this rolling! Do not test I do wonder if there's some kind of scaling towards the, um, the people you're facing. So that's useless at the moment. Might actually get rid of that one as well. And then take care of the bear. There we go. I have a lot of flexibility with the cards I've chosen. Because there's resurrectors, there's just create cards. Which can give me whatever the hell I want. I think that was going to happen. None shall tread on us. There we go. First round for us. I'm just gonna set it up so I can use Odrin and start. Oh. There we have. Hmm. I can take care of that with Mirk da Brake. Because. Yeah, just use. There we go. So now he's gonna kill himself in the next round because he's. Uh... Because he's going to do one damage. Yeah, even if he uses his leader card, he's just going to die. Could have used Moran to actually completely counter Imlarith as well. Because that's... I've seen a lot of them. Of the uh, Imlariths going around. The new Imlarith. Because, yeah, he duels the highest enemy on every end of the turn. If he survives, he heals himself by two and gives himself two armor. So he never goes above that five that he has. So he's kind of nerfed that way. Our will light up the north. Okay. Goliath could do that, because that's 5 and then immediately gets 12 back in his face, so he's going to destroy himself. Unless, of course, Goliath takes more damage, but... I feel honored, truly. Oh, wow. That was very nicely done. I'm just going to pause. Okay, so he boosts himself every time there's uh, something on the field. Losing spawn an Imperi Imperial Manticore. Or just start swapping cards, because yeah. Just gonna do that, because I wanna don't you fret. swap a few. Because uh, I don't have any use for the Caretaker, and I don't have any immediate use for. Yeah, maybe the Ornamental Sword, get rid of that. Yeah. And the Mandrake Root, okay. It's a heavy dual deck, Jesus. You Let's stand use Stannis. Oh, that's too bad. I'm not doing that great. Next up is Odrin, because I want to get him popping around on the field. Although, of course, the lock is going to fuck that up. I'm going where I'm going. I'm going where I'm going. So if they get locks locked immediately, which is probably what's going to happen. Do not test my patience. Can't unlock right now. I think no. Impenetrable fox, Devil clear skies, ice. or also thunder. Um, so I'm losing. I'm going to spawn an imperial manticore if I want to, but let's just drag this out a bit longer. Why have you summoned me? Have you nothing better to do? That is... Probably the best thing he could have done, but... Can't take out his 17er over there. Damn it. Okay. Uh, let's just do that. Yeah, I'm losing. I'm not going to win this, but yeah. Sadly, the first loss. Humans are not to be trusted. Reset and weaken by six. So unless that's only like three points, I probably lost. Right! There we go. <laughs> About that. Damn, lost their first game. Okay, fair enough. 
Doesn't mean we can't win the next one. Oh, and there goes one of the hearts. Oh. Oh, I thought it was going to continue either way, but yeah, let's let's go for the third one then. That just keeps going. Be gone. Be gone. I the Whispering Hillock. I'm not afraid. I shall not fail. I shall not fail. We'll go at him together. Onward! Shotcap leads the way! That's a nice start. Impressive. Ooh, okay. Probably just use all this then. The white frost and white light is nigh. I'm already significantly underscoring, which means I don't really need to overdo certain things. Uh, there we go. Holds no surprises. Then let's put this down. I kind of have a plan for this. Ooh, he might actually weaken my all geared. Which means I can't use him. Oh, wait. You might find this shocking. Yeah, indeed. I found that very shocking. And then... It's gonna leave a mark, but yeah, there we go. And then... There we go. So on the next turn, I'm gonna take over his... Arcuspore. There we go. Don't worry about me. So now we're six to five, so if I just pass now, that should be fine. I don't have an amazing hand. Oh, and there's Morkvark. <laughs> Interesting. So the two resurrectors right next to one another. Pretty high level cards in my hand right now. Octvist. Wait, is that a monster? <laughs> no, it's a dragon, I didn't think so. Should be a monster. There we go. Whacking his cards off the board. So equal cards and 12 points ahead. Okay. Could actually just strengthen it by 6 to avoid him getting the upper hand there. Because I think Hjalmar is boosted by 10. Yeah. So that's 15 points difference. So that's just... Up my chances a bit. Then the Streebok, Rune, Azurak the Bronze Silver Clan unit, or Morgvark. Morgvark might be interesting. Because he can actually come back at this point. Do I look like a smudger to you? Then Vess on this row as well. Swap out the Wyvern and the Imperial Manticore. There. Fuck. And Odrin. So he's, she's gonna take over the highest unit. Fuck. I'm going where I'm going. Damn, son. He just had me dead the rights there. Jesus Christ. That was impressive. So that means I can only lose one more match. No, nope. that's gonna be over really quickly. Too long have we tolerated weak and There we go. Next up, Usurper, Valerius Crow. I this feel like I've played against that guy before, but Peace with humans by thus. Yeah, I don't like like peace with humans. There we go. Okay. Let's just take care of Bronze or silver crap. Why have you summoned me? Every frickin' time the Imlerits. Strike! That's that's impossible. A moment. I need to smoke. I need to smoke. So let's give him a give me that one. There we go. Imperial Manticore. There we go. 
and a bear. Let's just pause. Because I'm one card ahead. And he's just generating more points. So he either lets this go and I won the round. There we go. Okay then. Didn't expect him to actually do that. I need to get rid of that completely destroyed card in my hand right now. Because that is actually not that bad. That gets rid of Mirkta Baraka. That's a useless card in my hand right now. I think I might as well just pass because he needs to lay another card if he wants to uh, keep going. So that gives me a card advantage of two, which is most likely going to get me the match. It's not that bad actually because he's still going to come back. I'm going to get rid of the Mahakam Guard because I can get the Mahakam Guard from the Dwarven Agitator, which is what I'm going to do practically immediately. So Dwarven, the Mahakam Guard gone. Ooh, he's still damaged. I can't really say what that's going to be. The Usurper, who can spawn any leader, I think. Too long have we tolerated weak, sleeping yeah, emperors. create any leader and boost the boy too. I, help you. I think that black card that's still face down might be a the counter for special cards. That's the Golden Moran. The time of the white frost and white light Hi. is nigh. Fog? We're seriously going for fog right now. Yeah, there we go. There's a gold moran. That's why I used the sword before we actually used the uh, Stribok rune stone because the Stribok rune stone is more interesting. Let's do Avalach. Appearances can be deceiving. Oh, I can resurrect my leader. Holy shit! Mandrake would be nice. Although, let's go with Odrin. Put him on the fog first. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Holy shit, that just spawns a... yeah. Crap. So I actually need something Clear Skies related now. Which I won't get. Um... Yeah, it's only two more turns, so that's not gonna be that big of a problem. I am no Nils Guardian. So it needs to be an elf guardian, right? Resurrect a leader. Why doesn't he? Oh yeah, because he's not in our graveyard. <laughs> Let's just put Malena down. Which I'm gonna use to just get whatever the frick I want. Okay, Milena's not gonna do anything. And then the bear. Which I can immediately destroy with Eskel. Sure, no problem. Ah, crap. Yeah, I could have weakened another unit and get him to yeah okay never mind and there we go another forfeit just let me win the match for fuck's sake but okay that get me gets me the first row completed which is fine keep a stiff neck so i'm guessing the matchmaking actually matches you with people that are at the same point on the board let's just whack that immediately I actually should keep those damage shielders because now I don't have a single one in my hand anymore. Let's put all gear on there. I need to smoke. Assassination it is. I can't actually do two damage, which is silly, but... So that's 14 points behind. I think I might actually pass on this one. Although, you know what, come on. I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. I'm losing. Come on, let's it's try this. On torrential rain, clear skies with Arakas Venom. That's 20. There we go. Um, like this. Keep together! Still winning. Resistance is futile. I was gonna pass anyway, so that's good. Because I have all geared in the graveyard. 
which means that Olgird actually comes back right about now. The moment I need to smoke. Is he gonna pass or not? I shall not fail. Play it safe. Play it slowly. Oh, Changi. Ah, hit it when they run. Friday's Bronze or silver. Left. The Manticore. The two ambush units in my hands are getting really, really annoying. I can use a paint. Dual an enemy, so that's seven damage base, because he doesn't do anything else with it. Play a bronze card out of your hand? No. So I really need to do either Albridge or Champion of Hove. There we go. Champion of, the, of Hove it is. Autocast Phantom probably, yeah. Shouldn't have done that, but... Crap. I think I'm, I'm gonna do something really weird now. We elves have our paths. There Don't we go. About me. And that's just... Let that play out. Now I have an 18 point card in my hand and... What the, what the hell was that? Mother would be proud. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, finish redrawing. Death holds no surprises. I did draw a card and discard a card or Blue Boy Lugals. Blue Boy Lugals is not gonna hold his liquor. I need to destroy an ally for the giant boar. Which means that actually Svanrige is my best option here. I swear on my honor. Stannis is not gonna overcome 18 points of damage right now. Goliath. 17 points ahead. Yes! Yes, fort one in the bag. And here we go with the fifth one. Turn back. Turn back. Turn back. I shall not repeat Emir's mistake. Our brothers in the valleys need us. There we go. Trickery. Treachery. Okay then. That is weird there we go that should cause a pass I think which is stupid because I haven't put all geared on the field yet and now I have a nice monster I can pull out of his graveyard by the way with uh, the caretaker and damn fair enough so I'm one card behind and I just Kinda of squandered my one and only saving grace here in all geared. So let's just get rid of all geared. It's not gonna help me out all that much. Yeah, I wanna have the last round be as long as possible. Longer black hands taking on new swabbies. What do you say? There we go. A pass on from me on the second round. I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. I got a main M7. And there we go with the Alzu's Thunder. I have a few spawny cards, which is good. So Odrin might actually. I'm just gonna get let him use the boat continuously, because I'm just gonna whack it with Mandrake Root afterwards. Which should kill it completely. I think they start at six. No, they start at seven. So it would still be alive, but it will be barely alive. What is in his graveyard right now, by the way? Okay. Fair enough. 
So there's the, the Striga, which is probably the most interesting card to get out of there. Let's put Malena down. Should get me 8 points. Okay, fair enough. Then put Stannis on the board. And do 5 damage on her. Okay, I'll take it. Well played. And that called her back even, that is interesting. Um, still one card ahead though, so that is good. Can do 8 damage with the Strega, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. Discard a bronze card from your deck, Raging Berserker or Clan on Crate Warrior. I think that's kind of speaks for itself. 14 points is 14 points. My powers are yours to command. That's good. That's good. So let's just use Vess. I'm not interested. Get rid of the spores, and that should be it. Just one card swap there. It's looking good. Don't know why he's filling his entire row with stuff, but I'm guessing it's to keep the goat, the boat, the goat, the boat going. The customer is king. Hmm. A store. Return a bronze or silver hide cards. So wait, give me a second. Is there a silver Skellige unit? No. So now show the cards again. <laughs> Um, enemy damage. I won't damage all that much, so let's just use Gremist and then Torrential Rain on the. Have you nothing better to do? The back row there. So they're gonna keep losing points. It's not the best card I could have hoped for, but it's something. The common folk. I care for them. Seriously, that's your move. Fair enough. 8 damage. I could do 8 damage on all bridge, which is actually what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And then 6 on all bridge. 8 on all bridge. Doesn't look too healthy. This way. There go two more. And then Avalach, and we can then end by destroying his boat just completely. Oh. <laughs> the Nordlings hate well then. <laughs> okay, that was a that was a quick forfeit. <laughs> ah, just another level up. So fifth match down. That was that's going rather well. I think I might actually lose now. I feel like I'm running out of luck. Anytime soon, so uh, here we go. Ooh, Grandmaster. Ah, yes, I'm going to die horribly. Like, really, really horribly. Um. None shall tread on us. Just gonna take the round then. Rid of Glorious Hunt. Okay. Yeah, right, that only does that. Um, bear! Everybody has ways of dealing with the bear, probably, but yeah. Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. Okay. Why have you summoned me? Let's just get rid of that. Stand and fight, cowards! Stand and fight, cowards? Moren. They'll not be here alive. What the? Oh, you can actually do that on ambush units. That is that is just wonderful. All geared, glorious hunt, or Odrin. Let's go with Odrin. Although I feel like there's way too many counters yes, to Odrin. Sir. Yep. Who is to die? Yep. There we go. Think I might actually lose now this one. We will see who is weak. Ooh. There we go. Oh, 
prizes. All 10, right. which is 17, which is fine by me. Taking a bit of a lead. What has that witch done? Good question. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a nice combo, Vandergrift and Ulfhuddin, because that kind of guarantees that you get. That was 18 damage in one go with Ulfhuddin. We get four points extra, which might help us winning this match. If we don't, this is the end. Peace is priceless. Stannis on the Manticore, which gives us 16 points, which is pretty good. And then we have 18, 17, and 22. No mercy! Scorch, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Appearances can be deceiving. Duel an enemy. There we go. Kinda lucky there. That was a very good card to have. So I could either go for the Caretaker and then... Yeah, I'm just gonna do that first. So Caretaker. And then obviously Goliath. Eight damage. Really nice. And then another Goliath, which is gonna go to 17, which is gonna totally fuck my row over. But yeah, here we go. 43. Did we win? Ooh. Shoop. Shoop can be good or bad. Stop. Stop. Holy shit, that was a draw. Shoop is overpowered. Holy shit. How does that work? How does this work? If this is the end, it's funny to end it on a draw. Level up, level up, level up. What do I get from my level up? What do I get from my level up? 100 scraps, okay. Does that count? No, it counts as nothing. Another win, another loss. Interesting. Here we go then. As dead as a, a level I six who's a master, a rank six who's a master, level 40, but he, he was a master once. I have a bad feeling about this. Let, let's draw a card and play a card, I think. Onward, yeah. So that's interesting. I, let's just do that first. I'm on it. I know the Fryhead Dragoon is gonna boost a card in his hands every single time. Thank you. Okay. Five damage, then I can put Melane on the field. Oh, I guess. And hope he's not gonna pass, of course. I'm an idiot sometimes. Now, I think I made me lose the match perfectly on my own accord there. <laughs> Damn it. Should have passed, obviously, but. Odrin is usually countered anyway, so let's play him. Yes, sir. I hate you! Curse you, Dwan! There we go. Not an amazing play, but yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Didn't play any resurrect units, so that's fine by me. I'm just gonna pass immediately. One card deficit, I can still win. I've won a few <laughs> rounds before. He needs to start, which means I can actually constantly counter whatever he throws at me. Which is good. If I have a bit of luck, ooh, that is already a bit of luck. Five points ahead on the first card. This is still doable. I like Jenge. Jenge is life, Jenge is heart, Jenge is everything. 17. Well, technically 16 because you remove, uh, 15 because you remove two 
Two bits of uh, health from them. Let's just let, let's just go from left to right. Just stay calm. Blue boy, blue goals. The Dwyrsach Skirmisher or the Berserker Marauder. Yeah, blue boy, blue goals it is. To 12. On, to and that put the whale over there. So he's going to do... If he doesn't destroy it immediately, 2 damage. And otherwise, yeah. He's taking off 3 health anyway. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Did expect something like that. Don't really have a great target to destroy, which means I'm gonna check in his... Could resurrect the Vrahed Dragoon. That's pretty much the only useful thing in his uh, graveyard. So let's just do that, because I don't think I'll be able to kill much else. Although... Let's see what Avalok gives us. In the Rith. Uh, that means I'm gonna die immediately, but hey. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> now, of course, we got that in our face. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. Fuck off. Seriously? He has two of them in his deck. Well, that's just. That's just, that, that's just, no. Six damage is actually going to do it. Um. Onward! There we go. And he's now going to kill himself in the next turn if he doesn't get, yeah, of, of course, of course. Um, just, just going to, yeah. Oh. I hate this game sometimes. That the Imlorith is broken as fuck because you can't fucking win with Imlorith on the board. You just don't have. You just don't have. You can't destroy him with anything else because he's a gold card. It's the only thing I can come up with to have him destroy the freaking Imlorith. Because yeah, it's too easy to make him just a powerhouse. If you can just get him back every single time, that's. I mean, he had two in his hands. Yeah, maybe they should change the rules in Arena that you can't have copies of the same card in your deck, because that's just ridiculous. Burak. But as you can see, I'm not forfeiting, even though I'm clearly going to lose. Ha! <laughs> About that. But yeah, that's the end of my Arena track there. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep... I'm gonna make an episode about that card, because that card is freaking broken. And there we go. That's the end of it. Rewards! 40 scraps, 1 keg, and 95 ores. That's actually pretty good. That is really good. So yeah, thanks for that. I'm just gonna open that up, and we'll end the episode over there then. So I bought two more kegs with the ore I just got. Um, it's actually a really interesting arena. I do think they can change a few things, like... I mean, the last match we lost because he had two Imlerits in his hands, which is just ridiculous that you have two copies of the same Golden Guards in your um, deck. Because, yeah, Imlerit is overpowered as it is. Because he's a, a recent addition. Might actually do an episode about him. Um, but yeah, not really... It's, it's a really cool concept, because you have to think on your toes. So you need to be really careful what you do. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Especially because you, you get the chance to, to try out a few cards you might not already have. Which is interesting on its, in its own right. Two blue cards on the first four cards, which is interesting. Ooh, purple. Hmm. So either run with the Incessant, which is resurrect on a random row with one power on turn end, which is a free crew unit, actually. I've seen that used quite a bit. Uh, I'm actually going to get that one, run with the Incessant. And yeah, it gives you the chance, Arena Mode gives you the cha chance to actually try out a few new cards that you otherwise wouldn't be able to without... I mean, you can't... there's no really... You, yeah, you can try a few things, but I think it's limited to the cards you have, so cards you don't have, there's not really a way of uh, checking them out in action. 
And then our last, ooh, that is, wow, I've been extremely lucky. Three kegs and we got a purple and a legendary here. Um, well, I can't go for anything but Vesemir here because I have an alchemy deck and Vesemir is just able to just play a bronze or silver alchemy card from your deck, which is just amazing. So yeah, Vesemir it is. So uh, yeah, and with that, we can, uh, I can start to end this episode, but yeah, I mean, if, what do you guys think about arena mode? Because it's it. This was just my first experience with it. But what do you guys think about arena mode? Let me know in the comments, and we'll discuss it down there further. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice first experience. I feel like the rewards are actually uh, right in comparison to what you need to do. Because I've been playing for over an hour and a half, which is actually a long, a long time for just one continuous session. Um, but it was really, really interesting, especially since you... And draws don't count as losses or wins, which is also good. And then, I don't know what's in the reward pool aside from what we just got. Might be that you can also get just cards, which would also be great. But yeah, I really like the new game mode. It gives you a bit of more options to uh, gain rewards, because otherwise you were very limited to either the daily rewards or uh, ranking up, etc. But yeah, very, very cool addition to what is already a very cool game. So um, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This little first look at arena mode. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.